Oh. Oh, hey there. Would love to turn on the lights for you so you can see what I'm doing. Maybe we can go like this. However, there we go. We can kind of see. However, I just came home from camping and we have no power. So, yeah. Yeah, Nat. I don't know where you are. Um, it's pretty hot outside, so I have my battery-operated fan next to me. Um, and this is ridiculous. We went all weekend camping. We're in the Thousand Islands. I didn't vlog being in the Thousand Islands because it was my chance after everything that had happened, you know, and having two weeks of, like, boom, 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 one thing happening to the next, you know, my dad being in the hospital, and then, you know, my mom, my sister, and, and my niece being here, that it was finally a weekend where I could just chill and read, and my friends that I were with knew that I needed that, and so I was able to finish, actually, like, a book and a half. I finished Summer of Salt, which, let's see if I can get it. Where did it go? Nope, that's the other book I want to read. Oh, I bent it. Oh, that's sad. So I finished Summer of Salt. It's done. I liked it. It was cute. I will do a further kind of uh, talk about it pretty soon. Probably in August when my summer TBR is done with. And I have started Save the Date by Morgan Matson. I'm I'm more than halfway done, I would say. Also, this is turning out to be a really cute book. I'm liking it. I'm liking these summer summery type reads. Um if you're curious about what I've been re what I'm like going to be reading. I have my Goodreads thing down below. Uh, you can check that out. You can be friends with me. I left you guys on the weirdest ending yesterday. Don came in the house and... Pad. Oh, well, we're going to start this again? No, we're not. We're turning that down. Um, we wound up getting our power back at like 2 o'clock in the morning, something like that. Don must have, like... I don't know, known that a light went on or something like that because I woke up and the air conditioning was on and I was like, why am I so cold? And that's because power's back on. Don turned on the air conditioning. Um, this morning, I really kind of just spent time in the air conditioning and um, just was catching up on some YouTube stuff and I uh, read a little bit, not too much, I only read like five pages or something like that, but I really like, I'm close to finishing Save the Date, so I really want to maybe finish that today, I don't, I don't know if that's going to happen, um, oh, got a Twitter today, I was like, let me see what this Twitter is all about, really, the only reason I want a Twitter is so I can follow Kaylin Nicholson, I love Kaylin Nicholson, I talk about it all the freaking time, um, but really I just wanted to be able to follow her on Twitter, so if I can remember to do it, my Twitter handle will be down below, I keep saying this, there's all sorts of goodies down in the down bar, make sure you check it all out, including discounts, you're welcome. I'm going to go home and pull something out of the freezer for dinner. I don't know what, though, because it's already 5 o'clock, and before I left the house, I totally forgot to do that. So I don't know what we're going to have. I don't know. I just know poor Don has been working out in this heat all day, and he's not going to want to cook. So I don't know. We'll figure it out. Hey, guys. Happy Wednesday. I just finished up teaching Zumba. I'm on my way home now. The breeze outside is fantastic. I might go for a walk today. I'm below on my steps because I'm traveling from the Thousand Islands, so I'm thinking maybe to try and boost them up.
up a little bit, I'll go for a walk today. That's bouldering not. Um, I have an unboxing too I need to do. I need to upload a video for you guys. to water my plants. Let's get this going here. These poor things are like, are you going to feed me or what? What's going on here? I don't think I can vlog and water this at the same time. I don't think that's possible. All right, hold on. Okay, so here is the update on my garden. As you can see, the state sage is looking beautiful still. I did cut the flowers off of it once it started flowering, so these sage leaves should be getting bigger. Jalapenos are looking beautiful. This one actually, which was the one I just looked at? One of them already has like this one right here. I don't know if I can pick up on camera, but right here it looks like it's turning red. Um, and as you can see like on the card, some of the varieties will be red. So we have tons and tons of jalapenos on here. My basil plant is looking beautiful. Love it. The mint has grown like crazy. And then over here, these are the little tomatoes. You can see this is starting to grow really nicely. It's starting to flower a little bit. And then on this one in the front of it, we actually have little tomatoes growing. There's a big one, a bigger one right here. So we have some stuff here. This one is starting to flower a little bit. This is the pink brandywine kind. And then these two are starting to grow better. This one is the Black Prince heirloom one. So you can see we got little flowerings over here that should show up. These guys look like they're growing, like they're fine, but they're not growing really fast. I don't know, they've definitely have gotten bigger since I put them in, so I don't know what to do with that. Same with this, we have the same hot banana pepper over here, if you can see it. So the same hot banana pepper, but this thing has definitely grown like a lot and then this one I'm really proud of this one I'm seriously proud of so the last time I showed you guys we didn't have any vegetable in it but if you look down there we got one and I got two and the leaves have gotten bigger there's a big giant leaf over here um, yeah but I saw this and I got really really excited look at that guy um, and then these are the cucumbers. This one isn't growing as fast. I think it's not getting as much sunlight. But this one, do you see that in there? This little guy right there. That's a cucumber. That's a cucumber in there. So yeah, and it's already like peeked through the top. So I'm really happy, really excited about my garden. I'm, I'm telling you, 
the Shears Garden is, it's fantastic. All right, so I'm going to start making the onions. I don't really know how I want to chop them up. I kind of feel like I just want to do little pieces, I guess. I don't know. I have a mason jar here. This one is... Uh, how many quarts? I don't know. 24 ounces, it says. Three cups. I don't know what that would mean. I'm not really good at... Uh, pickle, not pickling things, but jarring things. So I'm just going to cut this up. My brother said they were in like little chunks when he had them. But I don't want to do them in little chunks. I'm not going to do it in little chunks. I mean, there's a couple little chunks from the center, but... But I have all of these plus a whole nother bag downstairs. That's how many onions I have. Uh, so yeah, I'm going to get to chopping these and then we'll pickle these babies. I almost wasn't going to do a voiceover for this part, but thought it would be simpler if I did it. So for the pickling process, I'm adding half a cup of apple cider vinegar. We'll see later that I'll decide it's not going to be enough liquid and add more. So that was one cup of water. Here's another cup of water. So the original recipe called for one cup of water, but again, I decided, here we go, I'm adding the other half a cup of apple cider vinegar just because I had a bigger jar than I think it called for <laughs> and then I'm gonna add two tablespoons of sugar followed by three teaspoons of salt okay all right. Again, this is doubling the recipe. You don't have to do as much as I do, as I did. So if you have less than this, just keep it simple. Don't double the recipe. And I will try to leave the recipe for this down below so you guys have it. And of course, you want to give it a good shake before you stick it in the refrigerator. There we go. As you can see, I done pickled me some onions. I gave it a good shake as best as I could. These will last up to two weeks. Of course, I would say, I mean, it's a quick pickle. You can technically, like, eat it now, but, um, I don't know. I would wait, like, a day or two. Let it really get itself incorporated in there. I did double. This is the recipe that I got for the quick pickle off of... I think Bon Appetit's website, um, and then I just kind of doubled the pickling recipe because this is a bigger jar and I had more onions to pickle, and of course I'm going to share it with my brother 
So I wanted to make sure that it was quite a bit in here. And believe it or not, I told you I had tons of onions. I still have onions left. I could totally pickle more, but I just want to... I want to see how they taste first. Um, I'd imagine these pickles you can totally put on like hot dogs. Um, he said he had them on a cheese board, believe it or not. He said they were chopped up pretty, um, not fine, but like, you know, you get like a, like a Big Mac or something like that at McDonald's and like the onions are like in these like little tiny squares. That's where he said he got them from, so... I don't know. We'll see how it is. I mean, he's going to be the real taste tester. I did ask him if it was white onions or red onions, and he said they're white onions. So hopefully these, hopefully these are the same. I, I'm not sure. So for dinner, I think I mentioned this, that I made these burgers. I didn't vlog it at all, but I made these burgers, and I used the mom's favorite taco seasoning. It's my first time using this taco seasoning. So I'm really excited about it. Um, if you can hear in the background, the air fryer is going because I also chopped up some potatoes and made like little shoestring potatoes because I had potatoes left over that needed to be used. And of course I used the Tastefully Simple Seasoned Salt. Hopefully they turn out good. Um, I think we're going to forego bread tonight and do like a, use lettuce as the kind of bread, I guess you would call it. Um, I will make sure I took pictures of it. If not, then I will try and leave it up here. If I can remember, I will still kind of put it here. I'll put it, I'll put it like right there. There it is. Doesn't that look delicious? I continually say this. My sister's link for Tastefully Simple, the Facebook page is down below. Make sure you check it out. If any of the stuff looks good, yum. Yum.